you have the channel or something? Uh, channel 8. Okay, cool. ABC. If I pick my nose, can you cut that out? I will. <laughs> Got your promise. <laughs> I can't do that to someone either. One of the few who are it's like, like me. Why is that jump cut? <laughs> why are there 10 jump cuts on this video? <laughs> Dude picked his dude picked his nose. Okay, that's just straight up. <laughs> Every time there's a rally in the winter, I kind of regret it's not spring. No doubt, no doubt. You need to, if I may say, you need to dress a little bit more warmly. I'm about to go grab my other jacket. You need your, you need your overcoat, man. Yeah, at least it's not windy. Yeah, no. Last time I was out at a standoff where it was. I don't know, chilly. It was chillier. Was crazy it was chillier. Okay. Yeah. Here's this. Did you just put that in your jacket pocket? I'm gonna wrap it around All you. Right. So the wires don't exist. I'll see that. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth wire, right? Okay. 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 First off, can you just tell me a little bit about uh, why you came out here today? I'm an abolitionist of human abortion. I'm, uh, uh, I believe the gospel is the solution to the Holocaust in which we live of abortion. This is the most serious problem our culture faces right now is that we murder uh, millions of children every single year. And meanwhile, the pro-life movement in Oklahoma likes to uh, pat itself on the back and say the pro that Oklahoma is the most or the second most pro-life state uh, in the whole union, the safest or the second safest for the pre-born child in the state or in the, in the country and yet we murder more than 7,000 babies a year via all sorts of means, uh, hormonal birth control, which is abortifacient, uh, in vitro fertilization, obviously surgical abortions, and obviously chemical abortions that they sell at your local pharmacy, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, etc. And I'm bringing a voice of uh, rebuke against that whole culture. In vitro fertilization? Yes. In vitro fertilization is a process by which, generally speaking, the doctor will withdraw around 20 eggs from the, from the woman and then fertilize all 20 of them allow them to gestate for around eight days, at which point they'll implant at most three, and then take the other 17 and either discard them or freeze them or donate them to science for medical experimentation. This is uh, very possibly one of the most uh, uh, stridently ignored and uh, serious human rights violations going on in our culture today, mostly ignored. And you don't believe in compromise, you want full-on abolition? Uh, we must render justice. The Bible says that uh, the Bible uh, calls woes down on those who render unrighteous decrees, like every pro-life politician who's ever existed in this country has done so far. And uh, we must refuse to compromise with injustice. Imagine a law during when slavery was legal. Imagine passing a law that says you can only enslave uh, Negroes or something that are under 17 years old or over 17 years old. That law would not render justice. We're talking about rendering justice. That's what the law is supposed to do. Okay, are you with any organization or do you have any organization you want to... Yeah, the Abolitionist Society of Tulsa and Free the States. Okay, do you have any uh, membership of those groups or any title with them? Uh, not really, just an abolitionist. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, God bless you. God bless you as well. Stay warm. <laughs> Good luck, right? I know, right? Oh, yeah, don't let me forget your microphone. Yeah, I know. My reporter already took my stick mic, yeah. which means I'm not scared to see Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, thanks for everything, man. Sure, sure. Take care. Oh, yeah, I'm going to shake hands. God bless you. God bless you.